good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. We have Zarud and is that Glossifer? I believe that's Glossifer just by there. On this Shining Fates tin, which contains two booster packs and one metallic Pokemon coin that you can use for the Pokemon game. And also there is a little fact card inside of here. If you collect all five of the pictures, you can essentially make one big picture which displays all of the arts on all of the different tins that you can get from the Shining Fates mini power tin series. Let's get this bad boy open. There we go. You can contain about, I'd say about 60 Pokemon cards inside of one of these mini tins. So if you wanted to keep your deck inside of something and didn't have like a deck box, this is a good substitute for a deck box. So, ooh, look at that. We've got Eevee. Nice. Very nice. First time I've ever had one of those. Zarude, Dexentry of 893, is a rogue monkey Pokemon, height of 5'11 and weighs 143.3 pounds. Once the vines on Zarude's body tear off, they become nutrients in the soil. This helps the plants of the forest grow. Oh, nice. There's the picture that we get. Okay, two shining. Fates booster packs to open up. So, if you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com. The Pokemon TCG Shining Fates expansion contains over 190 cards. Each Pokemon TCG booster pack contains 10 cards and one basic energy. Each player must have 60 cards uh, to create a deck of Pokemon to play the game. Reveal a Shining Destiny. Shiny Pokemon are so extraordinary that almost they are never seen and trainers who catch them are considered quite lucky. And yet, they could be yours in the Pokemon TCG Shining Fates expansion. More than 100 Shining Pokemon appear on beautiful etched cards alongside more than 30 V and Pokemon V Max including the spectacular Shining Charizard in its Gigantamax forms. Seize your destiny and expand your collection with the Shining of Fates expansion. Alright. Anyways, let's get this pop in. Obviously green and white. Starting us off, we have Horsey for Generation 1 being a water type Pokemon with a dex entry of 116 being a dragon Pokemon. 20 out of 72 having a move of Water Gun. It makes its nest in the shades of corals. If it senses danger, it spits murky ink and flees. Rowlet up next, 50 health points being a grass type Pokemon. At a distance, it launches its sharp feathers while flying about. If the enemy gets too close, Rowlet switches tactics and delivers vicious kicks. 6 out of 72 has a move of Wind Shard. The X entry of 722 being a grass quill Pokemon being... A grass type of course with 50 health points having an ability of Sky Circus. If you play Bird Keeper from your hand during your turn, ignore all energies in this Pokemon's attack costs. More Peku up next with 80 health points being an electric type Pokemon, being a two sided Pokemon with a dex entry of 877. 35 out of 72, two moves, one of Famish, the other of Thundershock. At it. As it eats the seeds stored up in the pocket like pouches, this Pokemon is not just satisfying its constant hunger it's also generating electricity of course being an electric type spinnerack darkness type with 60 health points being a string spit pokemon dex entry of 167 43 out of 72 although the poison from its fangs isn't that strong it's potent enough to weaken prey that get caught in its web sting and hang down are its moves snom 50 health points being a water type pokemon Having a move of call for family, 29 out of 72. It spits out thread imbued with a frigid sort of energy and uses it to tie its body to branches, disguising itself as an icicle while it sleeps. It's a worm Pokemon with a dex entry of 872. Ooh, look at this. Look at this bad boy. Got ourselves a shining coffin. 60 health points being a darkness type Pokemon, being a poison gas Pokemon with a dex entry of 109. It is a SV076, SV122, having a move of Ascension. Its body is full of poisonous gas. It floats into garbage dumps, seeking out the fumes of raw, rotting trash. Dreadnought. 
140 health points being a water type Pokemon with an ability of Exoskeleton. This a Pokemon takes 30 damage less from attacks after applying weakness and resistance and has a move of Skull Bash. 27 out of 72 being a Bite Pokemon with a Dex entry of 834. Of course being a water type, this Pokemon rapidly extends its retractable neck to sink its shark fangs into distant enemies and take them down. Mystic type energy was the energy card for today from this booster pack followed up by Thwacky having an ability of Lay of the Land. If you have a stadium in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cross. It also has a move of Branch Poke. Dex entry of 811 being a Beat Pokemon with 90 health points being a Grass type. 12 out of 72. The faster a Thwacky can beat out a Rhythm with its two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers. Tropish with 110 health points being a grass type Pokemon being a fruit Pokemon with a dex entry of 357 having two moves one of gust the other of attach leaves 5 out of 72 bunches of delicious fruit grow underneath its neck it's warm it's in warm areas many ranches raise tropishes and last but not least from this pack we have a trainer item gym trainer draw two cards if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn draw two more cards 59 out of 72, you may play only one supporter card during your turn. Okay. Final boost back to open up. That is a very good pull, I'm not gonna lie. Starting this off, we have Glossopher with 60 health points, being a grass type Pokemon with a dex entry of 829, being a flowering Pokemon. 14 out of 72, having a move of leafage. It whirls around in the wind when singing a joyful song. This delightful display has charmed many into raising this Pokemon. Cacne up next, with 70 health points, being a grass type Pokemon, having a move of Pierce, being, of course, a cactus type Pokemon with a dex entry of 333. 4 out of 72, it prefers. Harsh environments such as deserts, it can survive for 30 days on water stored in its body alone. Wow, that's epic. So, next up we have a Kafant, which of course is a steel type Pokemon with a dex entry of 878, being a Copper Dern Pokemon, having 100 health points, having a move of strength, 49 out of 72. It digs up the ground with its trunk, it also is very strong, being able to carry loads of over loads of weight over five tons without any problem at all bundled up next being a water type pokemon having 70 health points being a sea weasel pokemon with a dex entry of 418 22 out of 72 having a move of rain splash it inflates the flotation sack around its neck and pokes its head out of the water to see what is going on spinarak up next 60 health points being a darkness type pokemon having a move of hang down another move of sting 44 Sorry, 43 out of 72. Although the poison from its fangs isn't that strong, it's potent enough to weaken prey that get caught up in its web. And of course, it's a darkness type. And we have Whacky. 90 health points. Of course, being a grass type Pokemon, have an ability of lay of the land. If a stadium is in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Dex entry of 871, being a beat Pokemon, having a move of branch pole. 12 out of 72. The faster a Fwaki can be can beat out a rhythm with its two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers. Whoa! Yo, look at this! Damn! This is awesome! A Ditto V Oh look how shiny this is. Got ourselves a Ditto V Max 320 health points in its Dynamax form, having a move of max transformation or max transform. 51 out of 72 this is a beautiful card wow i can't believe that we've we've had some really good pulls out of these uh, shiny face tins fire type energy followed up by a tropish 110 health points grass type pokemon with a dex entry of 357 being a fruit pokemon having two moves one of attached leaves the other of gust five out of 72 bunches of delicious fruit grow around its neck in warm areas many ranches Raise tropishes. Trainer support gym trainer draw two cards if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Draw two more cards. 59 out of 72. You may play only one support card during your turn. And last but certainly not least, from the uh, Shining Fates mini tin and these two booster packs that we opened up, we have a Floatzel with 110 health points, being a water type Pokemon having a move of Surf. 23 out of 72, dex entry of 419, being a sea weasel Pokemon, 
Its flotation sacs developed as a result of pursuing aquatic prey. It can double as a rubber raft. Okay, so let's go back and recap over what we got today. The two uh, trainer supporters, funny enough, were actually uh, gym trainer twice. So we've got Tropish, we've got a Spinarak, we've got a Bunzel, we've got Kafant, we've got Cacne, Glossopher, Tropish, Hwacky, Dreadnor, Snom, Spinarak, Morpeku, Rowlet, Horsey, and Fultzel. The energy cards that we pulled for today was none other than a Fire type energy and a Mystic type energy. We also got a playable coin as well with um, the Shining Fates mini tin, which is none other than this really cool little Eevee. Shout out to Eevee. We've got this fact file art card as well as a Rude, another one to add to the collection. Two code cards which are green and white. And obviously, let's go through the pulls. So I'll go to go worst to best. So starting this off. We have a Thwacky, and then I was absolutely over the moon when I got this Coffin, Shining Face Coffin, but to pull the Dynamax Ditto VMAX card, I am absolutely ecstatic. So, thank you all for watching another episode of GNG News, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already, and in the next video I will pull the Digital Boosters. See you all soon, turn on post notifications if you are new here. And if you want to keep up to date with me, you can go follow me over on Twitter at general underscore music underscore. And I'll see you all in another episode very soon. Have a great day and don't be too hard on yourself.